Well, hallelujah, how's it going on Live at Five, Life Nuggets, number 23, amen. Great to see you guys today. And I want to talk to you on part two of how to supercharge your life. Get supercharged in Jesus' name. Yesterday I talked about financially how to supercharge your life. Today, I want to talk about how to supercharge your life with the power of prayer. Amen. Let me turn down this music. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. You see, it's the prayer of a righteous man, James 5, 16, that is powerful and effective. The prayer of a righteous man, we're, we're righteous because of Jesus Christ, Amen. We pray in his name, the name above every name. And the prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. The Amplified Bible says it makes dynamic uh, power available. You see, my friends, if you know prayer, you'll know power. But if there is no prayer, there won't be any power. I mean, the only failure in America right now the only failure in your life, in your business, in your marriage, in your home, in your ministry, is a prayer failure. You see, my friends, we're preaching sugar-coated messages, praying half-hearted prayers, but God wants us to be earnest in prayer, amen, and he will move effectively, and he will move powerfully. He wants our heart and our praying. Can somebody say amen? You see, in, in Acts chapter 12, Peter was arrested, and the church gathered together to pray, and they were praying earnestly, and they were praying fervently for Peter. He was guarded by four squadrons of soldiers. He was in chains. The church was praying earnestly and fervently for him, and about that time, an angel showed up. Amen. Peter's chains fell off. Amen. I'm telling you, fervent prayer will break every chain. Can somebody say amen? Anyway, the, the prison door opened. Peter came out. Amen. Hallelujah. Because the church was fervently praying and he went on about doing God's will. Amen. Because of the power of prayer and earnestness. I'm telling you, we need to hold on to the horns of the altar and pray fervently and God will send ambushments on the devil. Loose every chain, break every fetter, open up the doors for those who are bound. Amen. And God will set the captive free. Also, too, we see where uh, the power of prayer. Jesus said to the disciples, ask and you will receive. Seek and you'll find. Knock and the door shall be opened. Amen. The Lord told me one time, he said, I want you to ask. I said, you do, Lord? He said, yes, son. He said, asking shows faith. So when I'm asking the Lord, when I'm seeking the Lord in prayer, when I'm knocking on the door and reminding him of his promises, remember that life nugget from a week or two back, then, hallelujah, I'm getting God's ear. I'm praying according to his will. If I pray according to his will, I know he hears me, and I know I have the petitions that I've asked of him, 1 John 5, 14 and 15. So my friends, we need to pray earnestly and fervently, amen, and God will break every chain and open every door we need to, to have opened, amen. As we pray, hallelujah, and we'll ask and receive, seek, find, knock, and the door is going to be open. Hallelujah. And here's what we need to do. And I've said this several times lately, and I can't get, get away from it. Go into your room. Here's the power of prayer. Go into your room, shut your door, and pray to your Father in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. I'm telling you, the Lord is our shepherd. We shall not lack. Can somebody say amen? He makes us lay down in green pastures. He leads us beside the quiet, still waters. He restores our soul. Hallelujah. The Lord is with us, and he's desiring to partner with us, to co-labor with us. You see, God does nothing except in answer to prayer. So let's partner with God. Amen. We're partakers of the divine nature. Let's seek him. And I'm telling you here in America, if we'll humble ourselves and pray, 
repent of our sins, seek his face, the Lord says, I will hear from heaven. I'll forgive the sin. I'll heal the land. I'll heal your family. I'll heal your life. I'll heal this nation. Amen. Come on, saints of God. Election time is here. We got to earnestly pray. We've got to vote what God tells us to vote. We've got to lift this nation up fervently in prayer. And God will answer. God will reward. God will bless. God will move heaven and earth if we pray and seek his face. Can somebody say amen? So you supercharge your life with your giving. You supercharge your life with your praying. Amen. And tomorrow will be part three. You don't want to miss it. Get supercharged. Amen.